bright beauty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain in this lecture we will cover some extra questions based on the concepts that we have learned right so if you have learned your concepts well you will be able to do all these questions right so let us start with the first question here r1 and r2 are the remainders when polynomial this and this polynomial are divided by x plus 1 and x minus 2 respectively so r1 is the root when the first polynomial that is this one is divided by x plus 1 how can i write it x cube plus 2x square minus 5ax minus 7 this is the polynomial okay it is divided by x plus 1 let us say this is f of x okay when it is divided by x plus 1 the remainder is r1 so i can say f of minus 1 is r1 why do i say that because we have studied the remainder theorem that if a polynomial of degree greater than equal to 1 is divided by a linear polynomial then the remainder will be f of the root right in this case it is minus 1 f of minus 1 okay so it is equal to r1 and if i place minus 1 here it will give me minus 1 plus 2 plus 5a minus 7 which is equal to 5a minus 7 minus 1 minus 8 plus 2 minus 6 so this is r1 okay now look at the second condition when this polynomial is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is r2 so i can say r2 is equal to f of 2 using the remainder theorem hence it is equal to i'll place 2 in place of x in this polynomial right now you can take it as any other symbol also let us take it as p okay and this is p of x so r2 will be p of 2 in this case now what is p of 2 2 cubed plus a into 2 squared minus 12 into 2 plus 6 so this will be 8 plus 4a minus 24 plus 6 8 plus 6 is 14 14 minus 24 is minus 10 4a minus 10 this is r2 now this equation is given so i'll place values of r1 and r2 in this equation 2r1 plus r2 is equal to 6 what is r1 in terms of a it is 5a minus 6 so you multiply it by 2 then plus r2 is 4a minus 10 and it is equal to 6 so this is an equation this is a linear equation in one variable only which is very easy to solve 2 into 5a is 10a minus 12 plus 4a minus 10 equals 6 10a plus 4a is 14a 12 plus 10 22 22 plus 6 is 28 right this is minus 22 so i take it on the other side a is equal to 28 by 14 that is 2 so we had to find a so a is equal to 2 right now f of x is a polynomial such that when it is divided by x minus 1 and x plus 1 the remainders are respectively 5 and 19 when it is divided by x minus 1 when f of x is divided by x minus 1 then remainder using the remainder theorem will be equal to f of 1 right and what is f of 1 i'll place x equal to 1 here so 1 raised to the power 4 is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus a plus b right you place 1 for x here and then you will find that f of 1 is equal to this expression here and f of 1 is the remainder and remainder is 5 so it is equal to 5 okay so this is minus 1 plus 3 is 2 2 can be taken on other side so b minus a will be equal to 3 all right let it be my first equation now using the second condition that this polynomial 
when divided by x plus 1 will give me remainder 19. I can say f of negative 1, right, because of x plus 1 here is equal to 19. And what is f of minus 1? If I place negative 1 in, uh, in place of x here, so minus 1 raised to 4 power is 1, minus of x cube will give me minus 1, so plus 2 here and plus 3 plus a plus b and it is equal to 19. So, this will give me my second equation that a plus b is equal to this is 6 right. So, 19 minus 6 is 13 and this is the second equation. Now, if I add 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 a will be cancelled. So, 2b is equal to 16 hence b is equal to 8. Now, if b equal to 8, then putting in this equation b equal to 8, I will get a equal to 5. So, a and b I have obtained. I need to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 2, right. When f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder will be f of 2. The remainder will be f of 2, which is now we will put the values. 2 raised to power 4 minus 2 into 2 raised to power 3 plus 3 2 raised to power 2 minus ax plus b. So, minus 5x plus 8, right. 2 raised to power 4 will give me 16 this is 8 into 2 that is 16, 4 into 3 is 12, 5x. So, I will place 2 here. So, 5 into 2 is 10, then plus 8. So, this 16 can be cancelled. 12 minus 10 is 2 and 2 plus 8 is 10. So, the remainder when the polynomial f of x is divided by x minus 2 is 10. Determine the value of a for which this polynomial is divisible by this linear polynomial here. Now, if it is divisible by this linear polynomial, then this will be factor of this, right. Hence, if I put it equal to 0, so 2x will be equal to 1, x will be equal to 1 by 2. Hence, I can say x equal to 1 by 2 is a 0 of this polynomial right or in other words I can say f of 1 by 2 will be equal to 0 right. Now, I put x equal to 1 by 2 here 2 into 1 by 2 raised to power 4 minus a into 1 by 2 raised to power 3 plus 4 1 by 2 squared 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, you see in this equation the only unknown is a. Right. So, once we solve this, we will easily find value of a. 1 by 2 raised to power 4 into 2 means 1 by 8 and this is minus 1 by 8 a. This is 1 by 4 into 4. So, it will be 1. 2 into 1 by 2 is again 1 and this is 1 and it is equal to 0. So, if I take 1 by 8 a on the other side, I will have 1 by 8 plus 3 on the other side, right. So, this is equal to 25 by 8, right. 1 by 8 a is equal to 25 by 8, hence a is equal to 25, right. Now, we had to find value of a and it is equal to 25, right. Now, this polynomial has x plus 2 as a factor. So, this much statement if I use, I can say that if I put x equal to minus 2 in this polynomial, this will give us the value 0. Let us say this is f of x, ok. I am saying that f of minus 2 will be equal to 0 because x plus 2 is a factor of f of x, right. I will use factor theorem and remainder theorem while solving these questions. 
okay f of minus 2 is 0 so i can place x equal to minus 2 a into minus 2 cube b into minus 2 squared minus 2 minus 6 and it is equal to 0 so this is minus 8 a this is 4 b and this is minus 8 okay so i can say 8 a minus 4 b is equal to minus 8 i have taken these two on the other side so 8 a minus 4 b is equal to minus 8 and let it be equation number 1 look at this second statement leaves a remainder 4 when divided by x minus 2 the remember the remainder theorem when this polynomial is divided by x minus 2 the remainder will be f of 2 so f of 2 is equal to 4 right so f of 2 is equal to 4 why because when divided f of x when divided by x minus 2 leaves remainder 4 so f of 2 is equal to 4 now i will place x equal to 2 in this polynomial so a 2 cubed plus b 2 squared and then 2 that is plus 2 and minus 6 this is equal to 4 right this is 8a this is 4b and this is minus 4 so on the other side it will become 8 right it is my second equation look at the first and second equation we have got the coefficients of b equal with opposite signs so i am adding 1 and 2 right when i add 1 and 2 the b part will eliminate uh, when i add equation 1 and equation 2 this 4b will get cancelled so it will give me 16a equals minus 8 plus 8 0 hence a is equal to 0 and if a is equal to 0 and i put it in second equation it will mean that 4b is equal to 8 hence b is equal to 2 so a is 0 b is 2 okay find values of a and b a is 0 b is 2 now what must be subtracted from this cubic polynomial so that the result is exactly divisible by this quadratic polynomial the first thing i will factorize this quadratic into two linear factors if possible so i will split the middle term x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 so it will be x plus 4 into x minus 3 so this will be the factorization of this quadratic polynomial now if it is I need to subtract something so what I am subtracting here I am subtracting a linear polynomial ax plus b let ax plus b should be subtracted for it to be divisible by x square plus x minus 12 right let ax plus b should be subtracted from this for this polynomial after subtraction to be divisible by this quadratic and when it is divisible by this it will be divisible by both these factors now let f of x be x cube minus 6x square minus 15x plus 80 and i am subtracting ax plus b that means minus ax minus b now this f of x is divisible by x square plus x minus 12 hence it is divisible by x plus 4 and x minus 3 which further means that f of minus 4 and f of 3 is equal to 0 right so if i put x equal to minus 4 f of minus 4 will be equal to minus 4 cube minus 6 into 
minus 4 squared minus 15 into minus 4 plus 80 minus a into minus 4 minus b and it is equal to 0. So, let us see this is minus 64 this is 16 into 6 that is 96 15 into 4 is 60 so plus 60 because of this minus minus it will become plus plus 80 and minus minus plus 4a minus b is equal to 0. So, 4a minus b will be equal to let us calculate minus 96 minus 64 is minus 160. So, minus 100 minus 20 on the other side it will become 20 hence it is my first equation. Now, f of 3 f of 3 is equal to 3 cubed minus 6 into 3 squared minus 15 into 3 plus 80 minus a into 3 minus b and it is equal to 0. This is 27 9 into 6 is 54 this is 45 plus 80 minus 3a minus b is equal to 0. Now, 3a that is minus 3a minus b will be equal to minus 54 minus 45 will be minus 99 and plus 80 will mean minus 19 27 minus 19 is 8. So, on the other side it will be minus 8 hence 3a plus b is equal to 8 this is my second equation. Now, if I add 1 and 2 b will be eliminated 4a plus 3a is 7a and it is equal to 28 hence a is equal to 4 right and if a is equal to 4 putting it in the second equation I can have 3 into 4 plus b equals 8 this is 12 so b is equal to 8 minus 12 that is minus 4. Now, I have got a and I have got b what did I assume in the beginning that a x plus b should be subtracted. So, 4 x minus 4 should be subtracted ok. Right. I hope we have done a good amount of practice on questions on polynomial and you are comfortable with the concepts that we learned in the chapter. Thank you.